Michael McCann. Mr Speaker, last Saturday afternoon I joined with the, the community of Stonehouse in my constituency to welcome home Sergeant Gary Jameson. Sergeant Jameson from the Scots Guards lost both legs and his left arm in an explosion in Afghanistan. The most humbling aspect of meeting Sergeant Jameson was his distinct lack of bitterness. He fully supports the mission in Afghanistan and he strongly believes that the British forces there are making a difference. Mr Speaker, can I ask the PM, the Prime Minister, to join with me in paying tribute to a true British hero? And will he also agree with me that the most fitting way to pay tribute to those who have made the ultimate sacrifice and those who have suffered the most terrible injuries is to stay in Afghanistan until the job is done? Yeah. Well, I certainly join the Honourable Gentleman in paying the right tribute he does to Sergeant Jameson and to all those who have served and anyone who has met with some of the soldiers who have lost limbs in, in combat through IEDs or in other ways, uh, through visiting Headley Court or, or elsewhere, you cannot help be incredibly impressed by the spirit and the bravery and the determination of these people to go on and live as full lives as possible. Now, we've set out very clearly what we want to achieve in Afghanistan. This is the key year when we surge up the military forces, we surge up the political pressure. And my honourable friend, right honourable friend, the Defence Secretary, making a statement uh, later today about how we do that best and how we make sure our forces are properly spread across um, Helmand province so we can really have the effect that we want. But let me be clear, do I think that we should be there in a combat role or in significant numbers in five years' time? No, I don't. This is the time to get the job done and the plan we have envisages uh, making sure that we wouldn't uh, be in Afghanistan in 2015. We've been there already for four or five years in Helmand, and obviously since 2001, it's time to maximise the pressure now and then to bring our forces home as we train up the Afghan army and police force to do the job that needs to be done, which is to keep that country secure. That is our goal, that's in our national security interest, and that's what we'll do. Yeah, yeah. And then